I'm Graeme Shaw and I'm here with Professor Kevin Harrington, Professor of Biological Cancer Therapies here at the Institute of Cancer Research London. Professor Harrington, you're using cancer targeting viruses to improve a type of chemotherapy. Can you tell us what you find? Well in a paper that we've just published we've demonstrated that we can take a standard form of chemotherapy whereby it is administered rather than going intravenously around the whole body it's given in a, a fashion whereby it's restricted to a certain part of the body so for instance just to the leg or just to the arm and we've taken that chemotherapy with a drug called melphalan combined it with another drug that makes blood vessels leaky and allows the chemotherapy to get out and get into the tumour. But what we've done for the first time is we've added also an oncolytic virus therapy to that triple combination. And what we've shown in a model of sarcoma in rats is that when we give that combination, we're able to get more virus out of the blood vessels into tumours those viruses are able to kill the tumor cells in combination with the drugs that we administer. And we get better response rates of those sarcomas in that rat model. And that gives us the platform, we believe, to take this forward into clinical trials. And why is this important? Well, in the clinic, we see a group of patients with disease that would be directly amenable to this form of treatment. So patients, for instance, with melanoma and some patients with a type of sarcoma that affects the distal limb, often in the leg, sometimes in the arm, those patients are poorly served with current treatments. But we know that if we give this isolated limb perfusion chemotherapy, concentrating the chemo directly where the tumor is, we can get good responses in those patients. We believe that by adding this extra biological therapy in the form of a virus, we'll get even better responses, and that's something we're very keen to test in clinical trials. And how long before this treatment will benefit patients? We have already been successful in making an application to the MHRA and convincing them of the strength of our data that this is a sensible approach to take to the clinic. So we have an approval for such a trial. Um, we would see as the first rational step testing this with the vaccinia virus that we have just recently published in our model here from the lab. But I think that this would be broadly applicable to a range of different oncolytic viruses, many of which are in clinical trial within our institution and also in others around the world. Professor Harrington, thank you very much. Thank you.